All right, people, what's going on? This is Ease, a.k.a. Ease Chill. And hopefully you guys have been watching me, man. You've been checking out my channel. You know, a lot of people, not not a lot of people, but a couple people commented and they said they like my gun guide and nice tips and this and that. I think the third one is going to be coming out pretty soon. I'm working on it. I'm going to work on it hard tomorrow, which is Sunday. But what I want to do is give you guys this hardcore weekend shotgun match where it's nothing but shotguns and your regular pistol really separates those that only use the damn sawed off i don't know if epic is doing it's just to kind of give us a treat because we've been complaining so much about the damn sawed off or if this is kind of like a little experiment you know either way i ain't mad i played a game this morning and freaking tore that shit down check out please check out but we it was like it was only three rounds too now i think it finally got up to five rounds unless i'm tripping i don't know my memory's kind of foggy but uh just in case you're wondering i'm, I'm gonna change to the sawed off and i'm gonna just show you that it's all nasher shotgun doesn't matter what you have in your loadout it's gonna switch to your nasher and your regular pistol only i don't even think you get a smoke grenade i don't even think that but we played that good game this morning before I went to work or before I went to sleep. Did I work? No, I didn't work. No. That was yesterday. Yeah, Friday. It's Saturday. I played Friday before I went to work. I didn't work tonight, which is why I'm here now. And we ran it. Only one person on the team had a kill, one kill. And oh, man, that was just nice. I had to go to sleep, though. I couldn't stay on it like I wanted to. So now this is my second game coming in today. And um, hopefully, you know, maybe I run the top of the list. Who knows? But I'm going to just kind of throw caution to the wind. I'm going to just run in, go at them, you know, do some shotgun dancing on them. You know what I mean? I know you over here. Where are you? Unless you just kept running. I guess you're not playing or you're just waiting. I don't know what you're doing, buddy. Okay, thanks for the easy kill. But, um, yeah, guys, I mean, I think I can, I'm think I'm gonna have a lot more steady games coming out because I just changed up my, um, my room setup. I put my old desk that I had when I had my first computer since 2001. I brought that back in here from my back room. It's a lot bigger and it feels more like an office. So, you know. Oh, shit. Oh, by the way, this is live commentary. So, you could probably hear my buttons mashing. But, um, yeah, I changed my setup. I got my mic here, but it's not. This piece is missing. Oh, shit. <laughs> this piece is missing. Well, at least one piece. I mean, I got a mic right now, but I want to return it and see um, if anything knows anything about Blue. The company Blue. Um, I'll put a link in the uh, put a link in the description to their website or Amazon, whatever. I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do, but I have the blue snowball microphone. I've seen a couple um directors use it, especially on game directors who post videos on YouTube, and they said it's pretty good. I've been doing a lot of research on it. I'm real anal about the thing and really looking into everything. And I want this, I want that, that and this, perfect or not, or you know what I'm saying. Are you shooting me? You ain't even got me yet. You're just nervous, aren't you? You're just nervous. But, um, yeah. So, I'm, I'm returning that. I'm waiting on Amazon to bring UPS so they can return that Snowball microphone by Blue. Which is, I'm pretty sure it's a good mic, but I'm not even going to open it because I don't want to... I just don't want to open it. I feel like if I open it, I'm going to have it here and I'm going to use it. I'm not going to return it. When I already have my other microphone with my stand and kind of what the whole works. Because if you um, listen to one of my other videos, I was talking about doing podcasting later on and, you know, dabbling into this, dabbling into that. But ultimately right now, giving you guys very good audio quality. Um, right now, this is pretty decent audio quality that I'm getting with this Logitech headset for my computer. Really, that was your kill? Whatever. But, um, you know, if I want to be taken serious... 
so you couldn't help me. You take my kill, but you couldn't help me out right there, right? Alright. <laughs> what was the hell was I talking about? But yeah, if I want to be taken seriously in this thing, I gotta have good audio quality. And we just been recently been getting a lot better as far as what the hell is he aiming at? As far as microphones are, as electronic wise or podcasting wise or being an artist and making your own music. And I picked up these Audio Technica AT twenty twenties um through Amazon and they have a USB version of theirs and an XLR version. Well, it's sitting here with the stand and the shock mount and the pop filter came with a pop filter and an XLR cable. And I'm thinking I'm thinking, damn, I got a good deal. It's coming with an XLR cable and a pop filter. No, it came with an XLR cable because it's the XLR version. Look at that. Can't dance like me. Two stepping up in here. But um, what was I saying? Um, it came with an XLR cable because it's the XLR version. It's not the USB version. So, I did some research. I was kind of going crazy. Okay, it's time to go. Get off the wall, please. Oh, we both jammed it. I'm gonna dance. Oh, he got me. Got me while I was dancing. He knew the steps. <laughs> But, um, okay, I got the XLR version. I kind of went nuts because I'm like, okay, this ain't going to plug in my, into my computer. I'm not even going to look at my computer. I know. It's this big three-prong looking thing. And I'm just like, okay, I do some research. I look online. I try to look for a thing. I call a few local companies. They're telling me I'm going to have to spend $150 to buy um, an audio box, like a converter. Basically, you plug it into the box and then... It has a USB out, and then you deal with the channels and that and this. And I'm like, I don't need all that. I just want a damn plug to plug USB style. But turns out, my plug is a um the the, the mic. It needs a phantom power. It's called phantom power to in order for it to power up. On top of being able to plug into something that's going to um plug it into my computer via USB. So, I do research, and luckily, the company Blue, the same people that I bought that snowball from, oh shit, came up with a product called the Icicle. Very affordable. I bought mine for 30, just about 40 bucks with plus shipping. Damn it, dude. If he didn't help you out, you wouldn't have had me. What was I saying? But yeah. Um, it's called a Blue Icicle. Basically, it's a little, they say it's kind of cheap. I looked at a few videos. It's a little plastic tube that plugs in from XLR to USB so you can plug it straight to your computer it works as a phantom power it, it has a little gain knob on it it's not the biggest high-end thing but I mean what are you gonna get for $30 I looked at reviews and people are loving it so it's like hey I should stick with my team but what are y'all doing I have a feeling somebody's behind me no paranoid Don't run now. Yeah, come over here and help your boy. You see how he helped him? You're supposed to help me like how he helped him. Thank you. That's what I'm... Oh, God. Oh, that's my phone right there. I got a text. But, yeah. So, now, the, the blue icicle is in the mail right now. And I'm just waiting for it so that I can plug it via USB straight to my computer and you know give you guys some good quality video video with audio and you know do my little thing dabble in this dabble in that recording this recording that and I'm just gonna love it it's something I've been looking on a long time before I got my job because I just started working like four or five months and it's something that I've been looking at a lot and I told myself, you know, I want to do this, I want to do this, and I want to do this. But it's a lot of times you got to kind of like convince yourself to finally do something. So I finally, I had the money, I finally mustered the courage and execution, man. They say the, the main reason why people fail is because they don't have the balls to execute. What a setup. That was just a pure bait.
if his partner wasn't there, yeah, we're going to lose this match. But yeah, it's all about execution, guys. If there's anything you ever want to do in life, you just have to do it. You, you never know unless you try. You'll never know unless you try. And it's like the failure to fail. I mean, the, the, the fear of failing, I should say. It's one of the freaking most dangerous things that I've learned to come up against. And I'm a person that likes to try new things. I hate the feeling of failing. And that's just like an obstacle that I'm trying to get over. So this YouTube thing is another piece of that. But um, we lost. Whatever. Not too far from the bottom. There's the chime. That's the top of the hour. Hopefully you guys like this match. Um, like what I got going. Um, rate, subscribe, comment. I'm doing things on the fly, so if I win or if I lose, it's whatever, man. I, I could I could really care less. I'm just here to entertain you guys and keep you guys um knowing about what I'm doing and maybe help you out on other things and tasks and maybe inform you about some stuff. Who knows? But subscribe guys. I will holla later. Bees everybody.